Welcome to The Daily for Wednesday, July 14th with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini, and today, Greg, it's finally official. Thierry Henry signs with the Red Bulls. Ooh la la, as they like to say in France. Welcome to New York, Mr. Henry, or Monsieur Henry, as we should say. I think I'm going to have to start speaking French all the time, but... This is a fantastic moment, I think, for both for New York soccer and for MLS to see the likes of Thierry Henry, you know, a big, bold-faced name right here coming in to Red Bull Arena, and he's going to make an impact both off the field and on the field. And for the Red Bulls fans now that that's official, you get to start looking to the third designated player slot, right. which they've been so. doing already. Uh, bad news is it looks like Rafa Marquez's price tag might be a bit high for MLS. Yeah, I think it is. I think Barcelona have put us about a $7 million price tag on him, a little high for for everyone. Obviously Barcelona deciding that Rafa Marquez was more important to them in the midfield. They wanted to keep him, but it doesn't matter. You're getting Thierry Henry, New York fans, and that's going to be a, a huge thing for you, I think, in the attack especially. I think he will complement Juan Pablo Angel very, very well. One guy running off the ball, that's Thierry Henry. Angel doing all that great hold-up work that he does. And we could see some real fireworks from both of them. Could be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the Red Bulls are chasing Columbus in the Eastern Conference. Yeah. Columbus in action tonight against Kansas City. Um, Kansas City probably didn't want to see Columbus on their schedule right now, considering the struggles they've been well, going honestly, through. Honestly, I don't think Kansas City wanted to see the local pub team on their schedule right now, the way they're playing. It's been two months of futility out there in the Midwest for the Wizards and they need to find something. I think the key for them is to start in back. They need to find another rhythm in the back. Jimmy Conrad had two errors last week in the loss to Chivas USA. He stood up, he took responsibility, and that, to me, is a leadership moment for him. He's not the captain anymore. That's gone to Davey Arnault. But this back line needs to start to create, to, to really stand tall, and that's where you start building, and I think that's the way Peter Vermees feels, too. Well, a tough task against a Columbus yeah. team with a lot of weapons tonight. Uh, Greg, also, Superliga begins tonight. New England Revolution taking on Pumas in, in the first matchup. Uh, New England coming off this win against L.A., maybe Huge. a little momentum to build here. Yeah, I think a lot of momentum. Of course, they're coming up against Pumas, who, by the way, are the biggest club probably in Superliga that have come up from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Big, huge Mexico City club. Lots of fans down there. Lots of fans up here as well. And you know what? They've lost a couple of stars in the last couple of weeks. You know, Efren Juarez went off to Celtic. Right. But they're still a very formidable side. I think what you said, though, about momentum for New England, that's huge. They take Super League very seriously in New England. They have won it in 2008, mm -hmm. and they've had some great battles over the years with the Mexican clubs. And a finalist from last year's edition of Super League in action tonight as well, Chicago Fire taking on Morelia. Chicago's a team that's trying to get healthy. Uh, they had you know, some guys step up last week. Stephen yeah. Kinney played a great game at right back, so maybe it's a chance to look at some of the younger players and try to gain some momentum as well. Yeah, but for Chicago, you know what? You're not going to build championships on right back and I think they know that obviously the key for them I think in this one will become Marco Papa who was just named at the first 11 for the MLS All-Star so that's a great bit of confidence for him mm -hmm. the other key I think Carlos de los Cobos their new coach he's Mexican he's going to want to put on a good performance against these Mexican clubs they're going to be watching him to say hey how is de los Cobos doing up in Chicago this is a good test for this player team uh, last MLS team in action tonight Greg Philadelphia Union taking on Celtic. Celtic coming in. It's funny that the, their coach basically said, I, I think Philadelphia is probably the favorite in this game. Celtic, of course, early in their preseason. Oh, head games. And besides, you know, probably his accent, no one understood what he actually was saying in that one anyway. But let's be honest, right? Celtic, they're here. They're in preseason. They're trying to get their form. They're trying to get their fitness. So mm -hmm. you could understand a coach saying, hey, we're going up against a club that is midseason. We should be, you know, the underdogs in this one. Saying that, Great opportunity for the Philadelphia Union. Young side, a new expansion team, to put on a show for their fans right. and for themselves. I think this is a good chance for them to really find themselves against a, in a, a club that has, what, 47 Scottish Premier League titles. But you know what? It, for Philadelphia, they can find themselves because there's no pressure in this one. Just go and play, especially these young guys. Just go out and play, get some momentum going into the league in the second half of the season. All right, well, that wraps up the daily for today. We'll be back tomorrow.